Wow, it's the end of the first quarter already. Can't believe it. Oh. Well, now that I know where you guys are at, it's time for another edition of Your Nightly News. Hi, I'm Lance, and welcome to your fourth edition of Your Nightly News. Today we have a story on seniors, but first, a story that's, well, a little different. High school is filled with challenges for all students, however some have to deal with more than others. Let's go talk to a few of them. Hey Sabrina, so tell me, what is your disability? I have snapping hip syndrome, and that turned into a torn labrum caused by a bone spur. So how well do you think you have adapted? As well as can be expected. I have my struggles still, but I'm trying to keep a positive outlook. And what has been the hardest thing for you to overcome? Seeing where I was before and where I'm at now, it's two different things, and that's, that's really hard to, to deal with. What do you want everyone to know about you and your disability? What I want them to know is that just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. There still is problems that we can't see. Thank you, Serena. So Lance, tell us about your disability. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Lance, I'm over here. Oh, okay. Lance, please tell us about your disability. Well, what my disability is that I'm legally blind in both my eyes. I have a 2300. Now, what that is, is if I'm looking at a locker 20 feet away from me, is what a normal person with 20-20 vision would see 300 feet away. Wow, that's quite the difference. Lance, everybody knows you play football. Tell us how well you do with that. Well, the way I do deal with that is the coaches put me in as a lineman, as a nose guard, so I'm closer to the ball, when, so I'm able to see when it gets hiked, and I think I do okay. I think you do pretty well, Lance. Is there anything you want the students at Fieldcrest to know about your disability? One thing I want you guys to know is that if I run into you during the hall, in the hallways, I'm very sorry. It's just that I didn't see you there. Oh man, watch out for Lance. Thanks. Lance! Sorry, Brett. I'm not Brett. Oh, sorry, Mojo. <laughs> Thanks, Lance. Thanks, Jack. Hi, Dave. Hello. So how does being diabetic affect your life? I cannot be an average teenager because average teenagers go around and have fun and eat food and party and stuff like that. But if I did that, my blood sugars would spike out of control or drop too much. And that can lead to seizures and eventually bite in the dust. So after all these years of being diabetic, how well do you think you have adapted? I think I've adapted pretty well because the things I do that are second nature to me, a lot of people can't do. Like, normal people can't just take out a needle and stab themselves in the finger and just go along their day like it was nothing. <laughs> so compared to the other kids who have diabetes at our school, how different do you think you are? Well, me and Zach compared are quite different because he's the sporty, popular, has a lot of friends kind of guy, and I'm the one that likes to stay at home and play video games and is awkward around people. So what do you want everybody to know about you and your diabetes? Because I am diabetic, that, that is not the only thing about me. I am my own person, and just because my pancreas is dead, sitting in my body, does not mean that, that is the only thing that everyone should know about me. Well, thank you, Dave. So, Tyler, can you tell me how you actually hurt your leg? Uh, I was playing football, and I cut up the field, and I got some guy roll up on the back of my legs, and another guy hit me from the side, so my legs were stationary, and my upper body went the other way, and I uh, got a bone bruise on my left knee, and I got a sprained ankle with three torn ligaments on my right ankle. Jeez, so how long will you be out? Uh, it all depends on my rehab. They're saying I could be back by football season for playoffs. Uh, that's right now what I'm shooting for. Sounds good. Well, uh, how do you think your injury will affect your future? Um, with sports, I mean, for football, I'll probably be running out of bounds a little bit more. I won't be trying to run over people as much. 
Basketball, I mean, I should be okay. I don't know about baseball this spring. I'm still debating that. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Let's wish these students the best of luck. Feared Nightly News, I'm Keaton. And I'm Paige. So if you see us in the hallways, please give us some space. Lance. Oh, uh, senioritis usually starts in the second semester, but not always. Well, seniors, we're going on our fourth and final year of high school. Let's go see what some of you have to say about it. Hi, I'm here with valedictorian candidate Ryan. How's your senior year going so far? It's going great. It's a fantastic senior year. What are some goals for this year? Well, one of my goals is to graduate this school and be a more rounder person. That's a good goal to have. Have you looked at any colleges for next year? No, I don't appreciate colleges or Big Brother telling you what to do. Back due to popular demand, I'm here with Zach. Zach, how long have you been going to this school? Well, Brad, I've been going to this school for about three years now. Uh, this is my fourth year. I'm hoping it's my last. Well, good for you. How are your classes going? My classes are going exceptionally well. Uh, I get along with all of my teachers, and uh, I really like to take time with my teachers so I can really understand what's going on in the class. Well, good for you. What are your plans after high school? Mm, next question. Have you even looked into any colleges at all? That's a negative. Um, how do you feel about the underclassmen? Oh, I really like the underclassmen. Um, get along with them very well. They're so mature for their age, so can really connect with them. So I really like the underclassmen this year. Well, that's good. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Hypes. What do you think of the seniors this year? Well, they're awesome. I mean, they won homecoming and everything. They're very creative and imaginative, and they're great athletes. They work so hard. They're wonderful. How do you rank this year's seniors to the past years? Um... I would have to say they, well, I mean, they're the first seat class to win a football regional, right? Correct? You guys, you guys never won, a, they've never won games before till this year, last year? So you guys, we got to say you're great. But you're building on the tradition. You're going, you're going seven and two, right? Yeah. So isn't that the best two-year record of any football team? Yeah. See, I'm doing well. There you go. Ready or not, graduation is coming. I hope you're ready, seniors. For the night news, I'm Tyler. And I'm Brett. Well, let's hope others have their future plans planned a little bit better. Let's help them out with some upcoming events. that's our show. You keep saying magnificent. Next time we'll have a story on cheerleading and more on your nightly news. Aww.